let me caution you about the use of irrevocable living trust. These trusts have received a great deal of publicity in recent years through heavy advertising as a means to avoid probate. The trusts are appropriate for people with huge assets or those who genuinely need to keep some asset private from public view and off of the public record. Uh, these trusts have a problem though, and the problem I see is that they can cost thousands of dollars. All the plan really does is allow you to transfer assets into the revocable living trust, serve as the trustee, and during lifetime receive income from the trust, or go after the uh, principal of the trust as well. At death, the assets in the trust are not subject to probate and are distributed to the designated beneficiaries. Friends, at most about 2% of the population, the highest earners really need this kind of plan. What the advertisements don't tell you is that this plan can add great expenses to administering those trusts. The trust also adds another layer of paperwork, legality, and uh, legal procedure to your personal life. The expenses and extra business procedure hassles, plus all the other things that go with it, must be weighed against the real benefits, which can be pretty small. Most families do not need a revocable living trust. However, when a client asks about such a trust, I let him know that it is really for a special circumstance. If the client insists on a revocable living trust, I will properly prepare it for him. In nearly 40 years of law practice, I have handled hundreds and hundreds of well-planned estate plans. My job is to take care of my clients. Call me.